coming out of prison after 30 years and not knowing anything that's going on in society, I didn't know where to go, I didn't know what to do, uh, I didn't know how to approach people and talk to people. I didn't have anywhere to stay, any place to go. Uh, I didn't have any real contacts to find a place. Uh, so I started looking for, for uh, low-income housing, uh, BC housing, something. And um, they told me it would be a year to two years, possibly three years to get into a place. So uh, I wound up staying at a hotel, for uh, a cheap hotel, for about 30 days, 35 days. The whole time I was there, I was trying to find a place. I was, I was going to interviews meeting with managers of apartment buildings and things, and they wanted references. They wanted to know uh, if, I, if I had a criminal record. A lot of places nixed me because of criminal record. Um, and um, I said, well, that's a privacy issue, and I shouldn't have to say that. They said, well, that's our policy. That's the way it is. So I had a choice, either be homeless or stay in a hotel and pay, and pay a lot of money. There's not a lot of sympathy for prisoners and people who commit crime. I understand where they're coming from, but on the other hand, I've done my time. I've paid my debt to society tenfold. Uh, I'm not saying that, that, I, that, uh, that society's obligated to give me something. I'm just saying I, need an, I needed an avenue, and, and that's what we need is an avenue to not be homeless and not be put on the street. Because if you're put on the street and you're homeless, you have two choices. You're going to survive by living on the street, which means that you're going to do illegal activity. You're going to do drugs, you're going to sell drugs, you're going to rob people, you're going to you commit breaking entries, whatever it is, thefts. And if a person has a chance, like me, to come out and get into a place to live and is working and, and is showing an effort that he is actually doing something, then he should be applauded and, and, and he should be encouraged to, to do that. And I've become a member of society. I'm a taxpayer. I've got two jobs. I work every day and um, I'm doing really well. Uh, against all odds and against uh, the people who predicted otherwise. I think there, there, there needs to be something set up by the government or by private uh, groups, charity or somebody, churches, anybody. For all the guys that I'm corresponding with inside that are still doing time, it's their hope as well.